Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. While Fyret is talking to Ms. Azaid, Baron calls and informs her that Sevahir's right-hand man is Hassan. Fyret then says that the traitor is Hassan. While Hassan is trying to open the safe in Baron's room, Dylan enters the room and asks what are you doing here? Hassan gets angry at Dylan's words and goes towards him, saying why are you interfering with everything? Meanwhile, Ms. Azaid comes and scolds Hassan. Ms. Azaid kicks Baron out of there so that he doesn't get blood on his hands, and tells him that she will send him money to the warehouse. Yasmin explains that she talked to her father about Harun and made him very sad. Baron comes to the mansion angrily and shouts Hassan. When Dylan asks what happened, Baron says that he is the traitor. Then, when Ms. Azaid says that she has just left, Dylan and Ghoul stare in surprise. He instructs Fyret to call Hassan. While Sebdet tries to cheer up Harun, Harun is very unhappy. When Baron comes to his room with Dylan, it is said that he is the traitor among us. Dylan asks, are you sure? Isn't there a possibility that this incident is wrong? Baron shares his sadness by asking, isn't it hard to believe, can one's own uncle be such a traitor? If I can't turn my back on my uncle, who will I trust? Severi, on the one hand, blames Yasmin's mother and Keenan Bey on the other hand, and he remembers Harun's words to Yasmin saying that this cannot happen without the father's consent and says okay, let him come again and let's talk. Yasmin and the other ladies are very happy. Dislan comes to Ms. Azaid and asks why you lied. Ms. Azaid says be quiet, they will hear it. Do you want Baron's hands to be covered in blood? Dylan says no, I don't want to, but you know what we went through because of your son, tell me. Ms. Azaid explains that she is not making an effort for Hassan, but to prevent her grandchildren from getting blood on their hands. Dylan says you can't cover evil with lies, I am a mother now, I don't want to raise my son in such an environment. Ms. Azaid says okay girl, go and tell me, but be prepared for what will happen, both the reward and the sin are yours. He says I believe in Dylan and Baron, he will do what is right. On the one hand, Mr. Fyret and on the other hand, Mr. Kudret calls everywhere on the phone to see if anyone has seen or heard of Hassan. Baron says with anger, I will find you, Hassan, I will find you even if you go seven floors underground. When Dylan runs after him and stops him, Baron gets angry and tells him, don't tell me to kill you, you saw what he did. Dylan says, I didn't ask what you deserved, what do you think, what will you do? Meanwhile, he hears what Hassan Baron said and says to himself, aha, Baron Agha broke the pen, death is like death, Hassan. Baron is very angry and says he will do whatever he deserves when he finds him. Dylan says don't do it, let him go to prison and serve his sentence like Savahir. When Baron shows that he still cannot control his anger, Dylan wonders whether Ms. Azaid is right or whether she should remain silent to protect Baron. When Yasmin calls Harun and tells him that her father invited him to meet again, Harun is overjoyed. Ms. Azaid puts everything she has into a bag to give to Hassan. On the other hand, he says to Hassan, shame on him, what a child like you has put me through. Fyret finds Hassan's correspondence with Sevahir and brings it to Baron. He says that everything that happened before this was because of him. When Dylan asks what it says, she shouts, take it and read it, what can I do if I don't kill Hassan? After reading Dylan, I saw him trying to open the safe in his study. Ms. Azaid was there too. He says, I don't know what happened after that. Baron shouts Ms. Azaid and asks where did you hide your son? When Ms. Azaid says yes, I hid it, let the dirt go away, Baron asks where did you send it? When Ms. Azaid says, I don't know, she's gone, Baron leaves without saying anything more. Harun comes and sits at the table with Mr. Keenan's favorite dessert in his hand. When Mr. Keenan asks him how many families do you distribute food to, Harun gets shy and this puts him in a very good place in the eyes of Mr. Keenan. When Baron goes crazy with anger, Dylan tries to calm him down and prevent him from doing anything bad. When Dylan says, your strength, your weapon, your heart, Baron says, no, you are my everything, and they hug each other. While Hassan was complaining to Ms. Azaid, where have you been, Ms. Azaid slaps her, scolds her harshly, 
and gives her a purse full of money and gold, wishing she would have chosen to give birth to you. Mr. Kadret suspects that Ms. Azade is hiding Hassan when he sees her in secret places. When Harun gets up to leave, Yasmin says, I'll take you with me. Keenan says, stay, my daughter, I'll see Harun off. When Harun says thank you again for giving me this chance, Mr. Keenan says, I won't go further, take your flowers and chocolates, come and ask for my daughter properly. Harun becomes very happy when he hears this, thanks him and leaves. Mr. Kudret starts looking for Hassan to see where he hid him. Meanwhile, when he meets Baron and Dylan, he asks for forgiveness from them. He says everything Hassan did is because of me, if I had not kept silent at the time, all this would not have happened. Then I found Hassan and my son was hiding in our warehouse. When Baron said, what are we waiting for? Let's go then, Mr. Kudret sends Baron to another place because he thinks this would suit you as the head of the tribe. When Dylan insists on getting in the car with him, Baron gets angry and they go together. Mr. Kudret says, it's my turn now and takes his gun. Yasmin runs after Harun and catches up with him, and they celebrate this beautiful development by hugging each other. While Hassan looks at what Ms. Azade gave him and puts it in his pocket, Kudret enters the place. Hassan is surprised when he sees him, calling him a brother. Mr. Kudret says, what kind of brother does he have? He can't have a brother like you and grabs him by the collar and drags him. Meanwhile, Hassan shouts, whatever you heard is wrong, let me explain it to you, listen to me. While they are on the road, Dylan thinks that Mr. Kudret is strange and doubts his speech as if saying goodbye. When you say that normally he wouldn't send you alone for something like this, Baron understands and returns saying that my father did this to take me away from the mansion and Hassan is in the mansion. Mr. Kudret forcibly grabs Hassan's collar and puts him in the car. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.